Okay, I think we're good on wasps. I hope, I sure hope so, because I don't know you folks, I really don't like wasps. Anyway, we're going to be working in the uh, back. I don't know what you want to call this. We call this like the crawl space here. And then we got the crawl space inside of the uh, crawl space. Uh, I never even realized this was here until, oh, was it uh, a few months after we owned the house? When I started doing some electrical work, and it's like, I need to get wires up through this wall here cut into the insulation and again they had basically the same type of insulation on the wall although theirs was half inch thick this is one inch and of course they didn't have the other you know two and a half inch two and a half inch insulation behind it but uh cut into there it's like whoa there's a whole uh, like room inside here so now we're gonna working in there and from the looks of it i'm gonna i need to do a little trim in here yep on the spray foam there oh and i forgot to mention too i uh, did a little bit of framing here since the last video on this as well um, there used to be a rafter running right down here. I've since cut that rafter out right there. I've got it braced up the sides here with two uh, boards. And then there also used to be, I don't know if that was really a rafter per se, uh, coming up for this one over here. A dormer? Yeah. Uh, the dormer that's for this wall here used to come up from there as well. Got that uh, cut out as well. Again, I don't think that was too uh, structural there. Uh, same thing with this one. I don't think that'll hurt uh, too much. Hopefully that one. So makes it nice and easy to get in here now. I can almost, yeah, I can't quite stand all the way up, but uh, once I'm in here, then I can stand all the way up. Anyway, we'll start cutting some foam here about it, and then we'll uh, start laying sheet. trimmed up it was mostly just uh, these up here that needed a little trimming plus i had to trim a little bit over there as well but i think that's looking uh, pretty good here everyone check and make sure we got foam in all the gaps here too looks like they're looking pretty good here they don't see anything that's uh, missing you know, i'm just checking stuff like this to make sure yeah you know okay it's not quite all the way out but close enough right looks like maybe is that sticking out there a little bit no that's pretty good yeah, I think we're looking pretty good, Evan. I still need to do some of this wall over here yet. There's this uh, old vent here. Uh, someone covered over at some point to say that. Let's in some air, though, would be an understatement. So anyway, let's bring in some insulation or some sheets here, and we'll start putting some sheet up here.
Handsome boy. It's a going. Start Okay, we got all the large pieces on here. Very uh, tight space to record in here, by the way, trying to get you folks a shot of what we've got done. So got the four large pieces on. Now we need to uh, fill up in that corner right there, just a couple little uh, triangle pieces. Uh, see what's how well I can do at uh, measuring those there and actually get them to uh, fit in somewhat well. And then also I realized too, I want to run some sort of lights up in here yet as well. And so I've got that space open up there. I'll probably run a wire through there or something. Again, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do for lights in here, but again, I want something for lights, so I'll have to figure that out here.
Well, I think that is going to do it here for this video. I think I might have some cleaning up here to do as well. I think I said that in the last video about this here as well. Definitely got a mess up here that needs to be uh, cleaned up here at some point. But anyway, we got the one inch insulation on. I still have a little bit more uh, fiddly work to do, especially in this corner here. I mean, there's like, there's like a lot going on right here. You have the roof, uh, this roof line coming down here. You have this roof line going up here. You have, there's a roof line. Actually, you know, can you see it? Right, right there, but there's another roof line coming down there. There's a little bit of a, like a, a fourth roof. I guess that'd be like a fourth roof coming. Uh, it's, yeah, not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that mess yet. I'm going to have to figure that out a little bit more. But anyway, I think it's looking pretty good here so far. I've got all the uh, seams taped. I even went ahead and taped all the nails off too. I don't know, really necessary? Yeah, probably not. But uh, I taped them anyway, so. Oh, you know what? I still need to tape this one yet, don't I? With that being said, I mean, it's definitely making a difference up here. It is definitely a major temperature difference here. Even if I go out into the, uh, the bedroom here, I'd say the bedroom is actually colder than it is in here. Now, a couple things we need to do yet. I still want to do something with this wall, you know, which involves doing something with that vent. Uh, that vent just has, you know, a piece of tin across it there. Uh, they definitely want to, like, take that vent out. And uh, I was talking with my wife, maybe even put a window on there. I'm not sure yet. We'll see you once, everyone. Uh, so yeah, need to do some of that yet. Uh, I'm out of three and a half inch thick insulation though, uh, which is what I did on this wall. And I'm really liking that detail of it. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to go some more uh, three and a half inch thick insulation, put that on that wall there. Plus I got a partial wall in there as well. I'd like to uh, do that with, so I'm going to get some more of that. I'm also out of spray foam here as well. Wonder why, wonder why. Hmm, yes, using a lot of spray foam here. Uh, and I'm using the, the stuff that comes in the red can here, by the way, so I kind of want to get some more of that. I've got a couple more of the uh, smaller cans, that uh, cream colored stuff. Uh, I'm kind of using a mixture of both of them because sometimes like uh, with this stuff, the can has to go upside down so I can only get that in certain places. And then the cream stuff, you know, I need to use that because that can holds up right and in other places. So uh, using a mixture of both foams here. Anyway, we're going to wrap the video up. But again, thanks for watching. If you folks have any comments or questions about this, suggestions, be sure to throw them down below. Uh, you know, if you tried something like this before, let me know how it went. So again, thanks for watching everyone and until uh, next time.